हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू द वीडियो सीरीज लेक्चर ऑफ पीपीएस एंड दैट इज प्रोग्रामिंग फॉर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग माय नेम इज जीनल झाला एंड आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन एलजे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड ऑलरेडी सीन द सिलेबस इन डिटेल दैट वी हैव टू लर्न टोटल 10 डिफरेंट मॉड्यूल्स टू कंप्लीट द जर्नी ऑफ सी प्रोग्रामिंग एंड टुडे we are going to start with very first module that is introduction to computer and programming and the weightage of this module in university is total 11% let us start so in this module we will cover the topics like first is a block diagram of computer then after types of software then different types of computer languages and translators and different problem solving methods today in this video we will cover our first two topics first is a block diagram of computer and second is a types of software let us start with block diagram of computer and this question will ask in exam uh, of 5 to 7 marks in uh, university exam as well as our internal exam so first of all this is computer but which type of device a computer is it is an electronic device or an electrical device first of all see the difference between electronics and electrical the devices which are run on the high voltage are known as electrical device and the devices which are run on the low voltage are known as electronic device and our computer is an electronic device now what is the function of our computer so here you can see the keyboard and mouse so by using keyboard and mouse we can enter some input or instruction or data then after after entering some input process the data and finally we get the output on our display so how we can write the definition of computer a computer is an electronic device that takes data and instruction as an input then process the data and finally produce the useful information known as output it is the definition of computer now computer is a combination of hardware and software and hardware are mainly divided into four major components and we have to draw the diagrams of these major components of hardware let us see the diagram first of all we can enter the input from keyboard and mouse so first unit is called as a input unit input unit is used to enter data and what are the example of input unit as i said earlier keyboard and mouse now suppose you have open one document file so this particular file currently open in our primary memory because memory is also divided into two parts primary and secondary and what is primary memory primary memory is also called as ram and the full form of ram is random access memory it is also called as a temporary memory or volatile memory what is the meaning of temporary memory if you switch off the computer and uh, if your file is not saved then it is lost permanently it will not store but if you store the data in your secondary memory then it will store permanently now uh, you have a create one file uh, that is in primary memory then after what happen process on this file and this process done by our cpu cpu means central processing unit and it is the brain of computer and cpu also divided into two parts first part is a arithmetic and logical unit and second part is a control unit what is the function of alu alu is used for different arithmetic and logic operations like addition subtraction multiplication division that all are the operations performed by ALU and what is control unit a uh, control unit manage 
all the different major components like input you need, output you need, memory or any external devices. Uh, if you want to store your file permanently, then it will store in secondary memory. And secondary memory is also called as ROM. The full form of ROM is read only memory. Hard disk is the example of our secondary memory. And finally, if you want to uh, see your file, it will show on your output unit and what are the example of output unit monitor printers are the example of output unit we can see our file on monitor as well as same file in hard copy with using printer so this is the block diagram of computer then it is a combination of hardware and software so let us see the difference between hardware and software First of all, what is hardware? Hardware is the physical part of computer. In figure, you can see keyboard, mouse, CPU, all things are called as hardware. And what is software? Software is a set of instruction or program. The best example of software is operating system. Operating system is a software. The second uh, point is it, hardware can't perform any task without software. Same way, software can't be executed without hardware. So, they both are dependent on each other. Without software, hardware can't do any task and without hardware, software can't be executed. Then, hardware can be touched or filled. Means, uh, we can touch on a CPU or a monitor, but we can't touch or fill the software like operating system we can't touch the operating system hardware is repaired in case of any problem occurred and software is debugged in case of any problem and if your problem is not solved then hardware can be replaced but software can be reinstalled so these all are the difference between hardware and software so our first topic is completed now, move to the second topic and it is types of software. Let us start, software is a set of instruction as I said earlier and software is mainly categorized into two parts. First part is a system software and second part is a application software. So let us see in detail our first module system software so what is the definition of system software system software is the interface between system and user how suppose we have a one computer system but in computer we don't have operating system then computer can't run automatically it is useless we must have compulsory one operating system in our computer so, we can say that it is an interface between system and user. This is the definition of system software. And then after we have to write the major functions done by system software. Here you can see the different different function that all are done by our system software. So, our very first function is a file management. What is the meaning of file management? In computer, we have many different types of files like document file, uh, presentation file, C programming file, paint file, etc. These all are the files have a different extension and different data in different form. So these all are the files are managed by our system software. Then after second is a memory management. A memory is mainly divided into two parts, primary and secondary. And if you create any file, currently it will store in primary. Then after when you uh, save, it will store in secondary. Then you can store at particular location. Then if you want to update or delete the data from memory, it will also possible using system software. Then our third function is secondary storage management. 
secondary storage management means hard disk we can save our data at particular location in particular folder in our hard disk same way if you want to delete you can delete it very easily so these all are managed by our system software then after fourth is a process management what do we mean by process management if you want to run a uh, different program simultaneously together like currently i want to uh, open presentation file then after simultaneously i want to uh, start any other file then i can do it because these all things are managed by our system software and at last peripheral device management peripheral devices means external devices like usb pen drive headphone hard disk all are the devices are called as external devices they all are managed by our system software and our next see the example of system software windows windows operating system like windows xp uh, windows vista windows 10 windows 7 all are the example of operating system then unix linux ubuntu ios android all are the example of system software move to the second type that is application software what is the definition of application software application software is used for a particular one task in system software a system a software can do many different tasks but here application software do only particular task and one more thing we have to remember like application software always run on the system software because if in your computer operating system is not present and you want to use your different applications then it will not possible so application software always run on the system software and there are two types of application software first is a general purpose application second is a specific purpose application what is general purpose application let us see the examples ms office is the example of general purpose software how in ms office program we can do many different tasks like in powerpoint we can create our presentation in ms word we can create our document file so these all are the functions combined together in one application so it is called as general purpose software and what is specific purpose software uh, it is used for particular only one task like see the example of whatsapp whatsapp is mainly used for communicating if you want to communicate your friends means want to chat your friends then it is possible with whatsapp then after youtube so youtube is mainly used for watching videos or uploading the videos so they all are uh, used for particular one task that's why it is called as a specific purpose software and today we will uh, we have already seen two topics like block diagram of computer and uh, types of software and in next video we will see our remaining topics till then take care bye bye thank you so much mm -hmm.